Hey Capricorn, how's it going? Welcome to your singles reading for January 2023. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you guys so much for being here. I greatly appreciate all of you. All right, guys, so what we do in the singles reading is we take a look at two different people you could be dealing with during this time period. If you have someone in mind that you're already involved with or interested in and you know their zodiac sign, I'll also pull your energy with the different signs at the end of the reading. If you need a personal reading, feel free to contact me. Everything you need to know to do so is in the description box to the video. You can also feel free to follow me on other social media. I'm everywhere under the same name, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Capricorn. Wow, this first person. Three majors in their energy. We have Aries, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Aquarius. Wow. I have a chill. <laughs> what is up with this person? So, this is somebody who's very grown, very zen, calm, patient, um, They've gone through major, major healing in their life. This is somebody who's really been through some shit and has turned it all around, you know, um, taken all the positive shit in their life and turned it into a learning experience, turned it into something amazing. Very spiritual. another major so it's like this person has gotten themselves to a point in their life where they don't have any karmic debt left they've already cleared all that out all the bullshit the lessons they had to go through and now they're at this place where they're just healthy you know they're healthy they're manifesting All right. Okay. So here's the thing with them. You could meet them through friends, family, through some kind of a social gathering. Um, but anyway, they are going to kind of have trouble making a decision when it comes to relationships in general because they're so protective of their peace. I'm telling you, this person had to go through major, major shit and really transform their life into, you know, being able to be healthy and peaceful and zen and all that. And they're not going to let anything interfere with that. So the problem that they're going to have making a decision, it's going to be, you know, do I let somebody in? Because I am so healthy right now. I don't want that to get fucked up again. Um... So that's going to be the only issue for them. All right. Um, how are you going to feel about this person, Capricorn? Huh. You feel like they are your peace. Meanwhile, they're over here trying to keep their life, their peace together, their zen. They're trying to stay calm, you know, whatever. Not let anybody fuck with that. And you look at them as someone who calms you down. Someone who you feel peaceful around. Yeah. Yeah, you feel like they are like a freaking light bulb moment for you. Like you just had like these amazing like realizations and now you're just you're good the anxiety the depression when you're around them it's very calm for you um and you want a new beginning with them it's like something just turned on inside of you all right what is the outcome should you choose to deal with this person well it looks like you guys are going to start investing in it you know um watching it grow putting in the work all right, this next person over here, guys. 
you've got the ace of swords on both ends like you are just having light bulb moments all over the place you know i mean it's january you probably looking to start off the new year new um clear it's very clear headed energy very honest <laughs> all right this person over here um juggling a couple people probably dating around nothing serious they're very adventurous probably younger um, adventurous, spontaneous, younger fire probably, or has that energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, they're very content, very happy with their life, just out there having fun. They're not the most consistent because they're really just trying to have fun right now. They're honest. They're honest about it for sure. <laughs> Virgo, um, so this person normally is pretty introverted and they're trying to change that now. They're trying to put themselves out there, have more fun in their life, be more spontaneous, um, and more adventurous. Yeah, they feel like now's the time for them to go after what makes them happy, to be content and to just add to it, you know? How do you feel about this person? How do you feel about this person? You feel like they're a good match for you. And now we have Gemini. You feel like they're a good match, like you guys balance each other out, like there's a lot of harmony between the two of you. What is the outcome should you choose to deal with this person? Somebody's going to stay guarded. Hmm. Somebody um, has healed from something, maybe gone through some sort of a recovery with something here, whatever it is. Um, so they're going to try to protect themselves from you know, fucking with their healing again. It, it's real similar to this one over here, just not as mature, not as deep. All right, let's get you in the other signs. emotionally available. They're kind of an emotional shit show. Capricorn dealing with Taurus. Whatever the drama was between the two of you, whether it was you guys arguing or people around you trash talking you guys, that's going to clear up. Capricorn and Gemini. So they're looking to settle down. They're very trustworthy, dependable, reliable. They're very stable. Capricorn and Cancer. They look at you as what they're wishing for, like a dream come true. Capricorn and Leo. You have a Leo trying to come back or not trying to let you go. Capricorn and Virgo. You guys probably aren't even speaking. If you are, it's just kind of trash conversation. They're very emotionally immature. Capricorn and Libra. You might meet them on social media. They might have like a big social media presence or in the spotlight for their job or something like that. They could be some kind of a public figure, but they look at you as a victory. Like you'd be a win. Like if they would get you, they would feel like they just fucking won everything. Capricorn and Scorpio. So this is something that is worth putting the effort in, but it is gonna be a lot of effort. This is something that is gonna take work, but it can turn into something long-term and stable. Capricorn and Sagittarius, that's too heavy. Somebody feels like they're pulling all the weight there. 
Capricorn and Capricorn. Mm, that's pretty, um, just kind of hookup energy. Fun, exciting, but nothing serious, nothing consistent. Capricorn and Aquarius. They probably got a lot of options here. Um, they're just kind of up in their head, fantasizing, um, being kind of flighty. Capricorn and Pisces. They're going to start to be more emotionally open if they were previously closed off. I would expect that to change. All right, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I will talk to you in another day or two.